Howdy guys, it's Joe here, and today I got you guys a topic that should hit home for at least a decent amount of you, and that's going to be talking about lag. Now, I came up with this topic while I realized that I've been lagging for quite a few games, but I'm still a master, so I'm hoping that I can help you guys um, that are lagging in your games. I'm hoping that I can make you win a few more games, even one lagging. Now, before we get started, of course, I can't be like, you know, when you're lagging, well, pre-aim this exact way and you'll always get headshots, you'll be just as good as the McCree's if you're not lagging. No, but I can give you some stuff that's really been helping me and can help you win just a little bit better uh, than just kind of giving up because you're lagging. There's still a bit that you can do and still a few things that can help you boost yourself at least a little bit up there in the world when lagging. Again, it's not preferable, but if your internet's like mine where it has really good ping like 30 and then it boosts up to 300 out of nowhere, then this might be of a little bit of use to you. Or even if you're just always lagging, this can also be pretty useful. Now, to my first thing I want to say is that before you get started, before you do anything, if you get into a game and you're lagging, do not restart your internet immediately. Uh, unless, I guess you're in the first, like, 30 seconds. But after that, if you're, like, the first round in, do not restart your internet. The main reason for, the majority of your teammates are probably going to leave. Once you have one lever and it's been about one to two minutes, everybody's going to leave. And you just kind of make, like, a momentum wave of people that start leaving. Uh, for my first, like, day or two, I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna restart my internet, or a first day or two playing ranked. I, I would decide to restart my internet, I hope that I could rejoin and help my team, because usually doing that fixes my ping. But, I'd leave, I'd come back, and then there'd only be, like, three people left. I'd say, really, just try to play it out, and I have a few tips to try to help you play it out. Don't restart it, uh, unless you do this next thing, which could be, um, if you need to restart your internet. If it's, like, completely unplayable, like, 6,000 ping, at least before you restart your internet, tell people on your team that you're going to. I'd still say really never do it because even if you tell people on your team, a lot of times people just AFK anyways because they can. Um, but at least if you can, tell your team. Uh, tell your team that you're going to try to start your internet, that your internet's crashing, and just do that instead of just going instantly AFK. Um, I'd say really though, if you're at like 300 ping, you can still play through the rest of the match uh, without having to restart your internet. It's, it's not unplayable, it's just really hard. Um, but yeah, that's what I'd say. Now to some actual, like, in-game tips that I found for myself. First off and foremost, probably the best tip that you could ever possibly give yourself if you're lagging or if you've been lagging for a little bit. Um, for example, I had, like, 500 ping quite a few games. Um, if you're doing that, then go from your DPS hero, your, your tank hero, your uh, defense hero, to Lucio. Um, I just say really, overall, ask your team if you start to lag, if you can play support, and if you can specifically play Lucio. Now, I say this because... Even with Lucio being laggy, I mean, you can't speed boost, and you can't use your ultimate very well. But, even so, if you have like 500 ping, a, a ton of ping, pretty much unplayable ping, if you just go into your healing boost, and play very defensively, very behind your team, and at least give your team a healing aura, you can be a lot more beneficial than having AFK. And you can actually help your team win a decent amount of times. Now, of course, this is still not recommended, I mean, you don't want to have to lag, but, if you are lagging, I'd say switching to Lucio can be a really great idea. Um, this is pretty much what I always try to do. Um, when I'm lagging, I'll ask my team, like, can any of you guys support, play tank, uh, can you play offense? Switch it up somehow so that I can get into Lucio and just get behind my team and wait there. Now, of course, I'm not, like, bragging on Lucio. You can be a good Lucio and make a lot more, you know, effort on your team. Make your team do a lot better than this. But, if you're lagging, Lucio is a really good choice. Get behind your team, use the E when it's up, or at least when it seems to be a good time to do it, and just try to live. Try to stay really far back and try not to get picked uh, the best that you can. That's really all you can do, and that's a really good thing. Probably one of the best things. Um, next one there, if you have like 300 to 250 ping, so it's a little bit more playable, or, you know, Lucio's already chosen them and they won't switch, I'd say play heroes with abilities slash ultimates that really don't have to be way too accurate. Uh, for example, Junkrat with his abilities, with his E, and with his shooting, you just kind of have to spam a little bit around corners. Once again, it's better if you're not lagging as you can aim them, but you can kind of go a little bit more spammy around corners with lag. Reinhardt as well, just right click. Of course, it's not as good as going in, but it's, it's still pretty good. Uh, Lucio, and then Soldier76. If you have to DPS, I say, if you can, try not to go, but if everyone on your team uh, wants you to go DPS, I guess you have to. That actually happened to me one game, which is kind of weird. Um, if you're a soldier, by the way, just attack enemy shields and just attack big groups of enemies. But yeah, try out those heroes, and pretty much just either AFK on the spot, or on the point, or just AFK on the cart. Just try to stay there and shoot people. Uh, protect the cart, hide in the cart, don't try to go around, and don't try to make any flashy plays. I mean, you're lagging really bad. I've seen some people and talks to people that they're lagging and they're still going for all this stuff. Just play it safe and just play these heroes that you can play with quite a bit of lag. Again, you won't be doing as well, but you still can play these guys, at least a little bit. 
And of course, as well with their ultimates, they're really not way too hard to use. And these are some of the best ults to use with lag, so they're also really recommended for there. Um, next off, I'll say go triple tank if you possibly can. Now, of course, triple tank's already meta right now, so it's already a good idea to go that anyway. But with more tanks, I'd say it's really easier for your team to make up for your mistakes. Uh, for example, let's say that maybe you're lagging a bit too much and you can't walk backwards for like a second or two. Well, if you have Zarya, she can E you and kind of help you have a little bit of time that you could maybe get out. Um, as well with that, Ryan Shield especially good out uh, of mixing all these abilities. And a Diva right click can really save you from huge bursts that could just kill you when you're lagging a little bit. When you're just like AFK lagged, uh, huge ping spikes. Uh, these guys can save you. And overall, I'd say just having more tanks... It's really nice. It makes the game easier in general, I'd say, but especially when you're lagging, uh, it can kind of put like a, a wall of stuff that you don't have to worry about just because there's a little wall behind you or in front of you, I guess. Um, next from here, I'd also say again, just repeating this, never flank and always try to stick with your team, no matter what your hero is. You might even be a flanking hero. I mean, if you're Genji, you should switch off if you're lagging, but whoever you are, you should probably try to stay next to your team, uh, try to support them the best you can from there, and be less of like a, a DPS person, uh, try to not go for as many kills, and just try to help your team, protect your team a little bit more. You can't have to play like a more supporty role, no matter who your character is, when you're doing this. Um, as far as another thing from this, make sure not to ever 1v1 at all. Run away from 1v1s like the plague. Now, personally myself, I, I like to do 1v1s, but when I'm lagging, if I'm any character, I will immediately try to run for my team. Of course, you should be with your team anyways, but if you, you know, split off for some dumb reason, you should go to your team and try to stay with them. It's a lot easier if you're lagging uh, to have a little bit of, like, a buffer so that, you know, the enemy attacks you, then you attack the enemy you get back again from far range, than if you're right next to each other and it's, like, a burst fight. Uh, for example, if they're McCree and your soldier and you're lagging, you're going to lose. While if you're mid-range, well, you might win with your team's help. So yeah, just stay with your team and run, uh, run away from 1v1s. These are very, very dangerous when lagging. Do not go into them. Um, next, I'd also say, mainly just any damage that you have, try to shoot it into the blob of the enemy's main team. Be it the Ryan Shield, be it just where like two or three of the teammates are. And don't try to focus off the offense and off the support. Try to hit the people that you think you can hit the best with the lag. Now normally, you know, you'd want to target who you can target the best. But in this case, if you're just hitting and doing at least some damage, you're going to be doing a lot better uh, than lagging and just missing every shot on the offense hero. Sure, it might not be as much effective damage, but at least you're doing something and applying some damage to your team. Of course, if you weren't lagging like so bad, so if, if you're lagging to a point where you can still, you know, kind of shoot the offense heroes, go for it. But otherwise, just try to shoot where the main majority of the enemy team is and just try to get your big damage out right there. And those are the in-game tips. Now, as far as some things that you should do before you play every game, if you are a person that's in a house that lags quite often or even a decent amount, I'd say make sure before you play any ranked game, play about three to four minutes of practice rounds and uh, practice range before your ranked games. Of course, you get practice and mainly you get a C for lagging. I'd say even do this between like one ranked game and the next ranked game even in a row because oftentimes it's between like 20 and 30 minutes that you start lagging. So just do that. That can really just give you a little bit of a, a buffer uh, to help yourself. Uh, next, I'd also say if you start to get a ping reduction from your previous game, even if you aren't getting up to like 200 ping, but if you're going from like the, you know, your normal 50 to like 100, maybe you should take a break. Maybe you should restart your router and wait for your ping to go down, or maybe you should close your internet tabs. And as well with closing tabs, um, I'd say make sure to close your tabs, and also make sure to uh, close your auto-downloads. Often PC devices, uh, Mac devices, uh, often a lot of devices just auto-download stuff, and maybe you just forgot about a download on Steam, maybe you forgot about a download online. There's a lot of downloads that i just simply forgotten about, and I'm lagging, and I'm like, why am I lagging so bad? And I fix some of those. Of course, that's not all the time. A lot of the time it is the internet provider, but sometimes that can help. So just make sure to check that out, because that can help you get out of there. Now, my final words to this, my final words to you guys that are lagging out there, other than just tips, is just do not give up when you're lagging. Lag does not mean an instant loss. I feel like a lot of people throw this around. There's like, you know, I'm lagging. I shouldn't even try. I'm, I'm going to lose. I can't be a help to my team. It does not mean that. You can still do, well, not a lot. You can still do a decent amount. Um, and it will be a lot harder for that game, but it's not impossible. I'd say about like one seventh to one tenth of my games I lag, but I'm still in Masters, and I can make up for my other games, and as well I can still at least somewhat help my team uh, for those games. Of course, it's not as good as if I was, you know, playing to my best. I wasn't lagging, but I, I can do a little bit. Um, yeah, I get like 300 ping for a lot of my games, but it's still good, and it's still playable. Um, as well with this, just when you start to lag, please try not to tilt the best you can. Don't run in, don't kill yourself, and try to play smart. Of course, it, you, you might, you know, fling around a little bit with the lag, but as long as you're trying to stay next to your team as, as well as you can, I think you're doing well. As long as you're trying to play smart, it's nice. 
Now, I know this is probably the most annoying thing. This is the most annoying thing in any game. Trying to play with lag and trying to go with that. But I'd say if you can try your best to play defensively, play smart, uh, play supports, and just try to heal your team, um, as well with that, play very much based off your game sense instead of your mechanics, then you still can win a decent amount of games. I'd say really, do focus on your game sense. If you know uh, better where for your teammates to be uh, than where they are, maybe you could try to call that out, and instead of, you know, getting a lot of damage done with your mechanics, with your aim, you could try to help your team out in other ways, like telling them where to go, or just being like, maybe we could go in right now. That could also help you really a lot. You can you can make up for your kind of useless lagging mechanics with really good game sense. So try to give that a shot as well. Really, I just say in the end, don't give up because you're lagging. I have to deal with this a lot, and it is annoying. It's terrible, but you can sometimes do stuff. So just keep trying, keep doing your best, and just try to go from there. Anyways, if you guys have your own tips on how to get through lag, please leave in the comment section down below. If you if you know any little secret ways uh, to get your lag going away a little bit, um, as well as that, if you did enjoy the video, as always, press that like button. Uh, comment down below, as I just did say. Press subscribe if you want any more future tip videos like this, and press the bell if you want to really subscribe because button doesn't actually work that well. Uh, anyways, thank you guys for watching though, and as always, have a wonderful day.